All right, then let's get started on our circuits review. So our first question here is, what is electric current? So if we if we take our definition, this is the um, oops. Current is the flow of charge or the movement of charge. Uh, current is measured in amps, so we have one amp. One amp is defined as uh, charge, so coulombs per unit time. Um, the way we usually talk about how current is defined or how it's set up is um, current is equal to the change in charge over the change in time. And then what two conditions are, are necessary for current to flow through a resistor? In order to have that, we have to have a um, complete conducting path. That's one thing that we need in order for current to flow through a resistor. The other thing that we need is a voltage or a push to move charges. What are the definitions of conductors or insulators? Conductors, conductors easily allow charges to move. So conductors are good for uh, allowing current to go through them. Insulators um, do or don't do a really good job. It's hard to move charges through an, an insulator. It's not impossible. It's just hard to move charges through an insulator. Metals make excellent conductors due to metallic bonding. It tells us that uh, for that metal, we have free electrons they go through. Resistance is stuff in the way of moving electrons. Or moving charges. It is measured in ohms. Um, and then resistance is defined as resistivity times the length of the resistor divided by the area, where resistivity is a measure of the junk in the way of moving charges. Draw a circuit which shows two resistors connected to a single battery in parallel with each other. So we have a battery in parallel. We have one path for the charges to flow, and we have a second path for charges to flow. So that's parallel. And then in series means we've got a battery, and in series it's one charge right after, sorry, one resistor right after the other. So in this circuit below, we're going to rank the bulbs from least to most bright. So here's how I want us to think about it. we got current going through here. And then at this point, the current splits, and I have some current going this way and another current going this way. And so what we're going to say is that current one, the one in red, current two, the one in gray, and current three, the one in green, because of our Kirchhoff's rules, we have current one is equal to current two plus current three. So current one, there's more current. Another way I like to think about it is the battery has to supply, I don't know if I, the battery has to supply enough current to go through this loop and the battery has to supply enough current to go through this other loop, right? And so resistor one has both of those currents running through it. There's more current in resistor A. So resistor A is the most bright. A is the brightest, and then B are and C are equal because they have the same current running through it. <clears throat> if wire A were disconnected, if we were to take wire A away, that would get rid of current one completely. If we got rid of current one completely, 
we would no longer have a no longer have any complete circuit. And the lights would be off. If light bulb B were disconnected, well, we would still have current 1, but it wouldn't have to supply light bulb B anymore. That wouldn't be there. So A would get dimmer, and C would get brighter, because it no longer has to share current with anything. We're going to use the circuit below, find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. This is a series circuit. In a series circuit, the total resistance is resistance 1 plus resistance 2. plus they, would, they just add together. So in a series circuit, the total resistance is going to be 10 ohms plus 6 ohms, or 16 ohms. Find the total current in the circuit. To find the total current in the circuit, total current is total voltage divided by total resistance. We can only use the total values here. So it's 160 volts divided by 16 ohms. So that total current is 10 amps. Then find the power dissipated by each resistor. Because we're in series, we have the same current through everything. So we have 10 amps through this resistor Sorry, 10 amps through this resistor and 10 amps through this resistor. So if I want the power dissipated by each resistor, so for the 6 ohm resistor, that power for the 6 ohm resistor would be the voltage dropped across the 6 ohm resistor times the current through the 6 ohm resistor. So that's going to be, um, oh, I don't know the voltage dropped across. The other one that we used for that, because voltage is equal to I times R. Its power is equal to I squared through the 6 ohm resistor times the resistance. So it's going to be 10 amps times squared times 10 ohms. That's 1,000 watts. And for the 10 ohm resistor, sorry, I did that wrong and I apologize. So it's going to be 10 squared times 6 ohms. So we have 600 watts. And for the 10 ohm resistor, it's going to be the same thing. Power through the 10 ohm resistor is I squared times the resistance. So that power is 10 amps squared times 10 ohms. Well, that power comes out to be 1,000 watts. For this circuit, Find the equivalent resistance. This is a parallel circuit. So we have different rules. 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So 1 over R total is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So 1 over R total is 1 over 2. We have to flip both sides of that equation. So R total is equal to 2 ohms. That's my total resistance. Find the total current in the circuit. Total current is total voltage divided by total resistance. So 16 volts divided by 2 ohms. That total current comes out to be 8 amps. And if we look at it, I just want to do a little bit extra so that we can see it. For an individual resistor, I through a 4 ohm resistor is going to be the voltage dropped across the 4 ohm resistor divided by the resistance of the 4 ohm resistor. Because they're in parallel, it's still 16 volts across that 4 ohm resistor, but it's only 4 ohms, and I get 4 amps through one of those individual um, resistors. A student performs a lab in which he measures the current with an ammeter through a resistor as a function of voltage, draw the circuit, including the ammeter and voltmeter. This is from our first sort of worksheet. We have the battery connected to a resistor. We're going to put the ammeter in line so it goes straight through it. We're going to put the voltmeter across so it measures the voltage across our resistor. 
Sketch a graph of the potential versus the current and describe how the resistance can be found. So what we would do is take and get, change the battery, add more batteries, get more voltage, um, and then graph that against the current. That would give us a straight line and the slope of that line is the resistance. He measures the current to be 1 amp, 0.1 amp when the potential of 15 volts is applied. Determine the resistance of the circuit. V equals IR. So 15 volts is equal to 0.1 amps times the resistance. We'll divide each side by 0.1 amps. And that resistance comes out to be 150 ohms. A student connects two resistors in series. So we have a battery. We have one resistor that is 5 ohms. And the other resistor that is unknown. So we'll just call it R. And that's our circuit. And we have a 12 volt battery. When he connects that battery, he measures. 20 watts of power is dissipated through the first resistor. So, power is IV. We don't know the current yet. That's what we're looking for. And we don't know the voltage dropped across the 5 ohm resistor. And this is important. We know the total voltage, not the voltage dropped across the 5 ohm resistor. I know that voltage is going to be the current through the 5 ohm resistor times the resistance. So if I plug that in, the power is I squared R. We've already used that once on this worksheet. So the power is 20 watts. Sorry about that, little computer hiccup. The power is 20 watts. The current is unknown. And the resistance is 5 ohms. So I can take and divide both sides by 5. And what that tells me is that 4 is equal to the current squared. So if we square root both sides, the current is 2 amps. That's our current. Then we can determine the value of the second resistor. So I know that current is the voltage total over the resistance total. In series, the total resistance is R1 plus R2. So the total current is the total voltage over R1 plus R2. Well, if I plug in what I know, I know the current is 2 amps. The total voltage. Uh, is 12 volts. Divided by R1, 5 ohms, plus R2, which we don't know. Uh, and so I want to solve for R2. It's on the bottom, so we're going to multiply by that whole thing. 5 plus R. So that term crosses out on the bottom. And then if I distribute that, I get 10 plus 2R is equal to 12 volts, is equal to 12. We'll subtract 10 from both sides. So it crosses out over here, and I get 2R is equal to 2. So the resistance comes out to be 1 ohm. There's a lot of math involved with that. But that is our review.